In this GuideCAD tutorial, you're going to learn how to create your own customized title blocks, such as this. First, create a sheet. Selecting the sheet size you want to create a title block for. I'll choose A4. Then we are going to delete this default title block from the sheet and create our own. But before we do that, Let's look at what a title block consists of. In SkyCAD, the cross-reference coordinates bordering the sheet are considered parts of the title block. Generally, title blocks consist of lines and rectangles, your company logo, and some text. In SkyCAD, title blocks have two different types of texts. The first is just a standard text. This is text that will never change, such as project, project number, title, etc. The second type of text is called a title block attribute. These are intelligent texts that automatically update as your project evolves. Like this for example. If I change the name of the project to example project 1, the title block attribute is automatically updated. Title block attributes are hidden in the background until they become relevant. For example, notice that there is no project number for this project yet. But if I give the project a number, the information is displayed. This is because there was a title block attribute there. It just had no reason to show itself yet. We can see title block attributes that are still blank by clicking on the drawing tab and selecting show empty attribute names. You'll want to have this button selected when creating a new title block. Now that we know what a title block consists of, let's delete this default title block and make our own. You'll notice that four corners remain. These indicate the printable area of the sheet size you are working with. Now I'll draw my title block using the drawing tools. For now, it doesn't matter where we draw it. Next. I'll add the standard text, such as project name, date, revision, etc. Later, I'll add title block attributes, the text that changes automatically when your project evolves. As you can see, I've added my standard text. If you want, add your company logo using the Add Image button. Now select everything and select create title block. Your basic title block has now been created and anchored to the bottom right corner of the sheet. Cross reference coordinates have also been added. Now if you select your title block, a new tab is available called title block tools. Here we can choose from three different types of coordinate systems. Standard coordinates, one line rung numbering, and two line rung numbering. I'll go with one line rung numbering. Once you've selected which coordinate system you want, you can select Edit Coordinates Text Properties to change the color, size, style, and for rung numbering, the offset of the coordinates. Now we can add title block attributes. Remember these are the texts that update automatically. Let's say I want the project name to be displayed in the title block. So I'll add title block attribute. What is the attribute referencing? It's referencing the project. So I'll select Project Attributes. A window pops up displaying the project properties where we can choose which property we want. I want to display the project name, so I'll select the name cell and click OK. The project name title block attribute is inserted at a default position. Move it to where you want it. Next, I think I'll add the sheet title to the title block. Select the title block, 
go to the title block tools tab add title block attribute this time I want an attribute relating to the sheet and I want the sheet title which is blank at the moment but that's okay click OK and there it is if you can't find it it's because the attribute is currently blank and you don't have show empty attribute names selected I'll move this attribute where I want it to show you that this attribute updates automatically I'll change the title of this sheet as you can see the attribute now displays the sheet title finally let's add some revision attributes revision attributes are a bit special as you may want to display information about multiple revisions in your title block so for convenience when you choose to add a revision attribute SkyCAD will ask which revision attribute you want to show I'll choose revision number for example then SkyCAD will ask you how many revisions you intend to show in your title block I'll say 4 and the revision number attributes for the first four revisions are inserted all at once. By default, they are added in this order, but you can move them into your title block in the reverse order if you want. There are some other noteworthy attributes under title block system attributes, such as number of sheets which will display the total number of sheets in a project. At the moment, there's only one sheet in this project. You may want to edit the appearance of title block attributes. To do this, right-click on the attribute and select Explore Text. As with any other text, you can change the justification, font, size, etc. I'll just change the size. If you want some of your text or attributes to have the same text properties, remember that you can use the Format Painter in the Drawing tab. Now I'll go ahead and add the rest of the attributes. My title block is finished. Once complete, select the title block and select Save As. Give it a name. And it's saved to catalog. Once the title block is saved, we can set this title block as the default title block for any sheet size. Select the title block, go to the title block tools, and select set title block as default for sheet size I'll select A4 now whenever we add an A4 sheet to any project the default title block will be used remember that you can set this same title block as the default title block for multiple sheet sizes so you only need to design your title block once.